That's how I saw the origins of LOLSEC, which was digital activism and protest, and legitimate protest, and they were criminalised for it, and shame on us for doing that. The police officers, at least in my case, were more motivated by getting an end result, rather than making the world a better place. It goes like this, I mean, there is no patch for ignorance. You need police for your physical security, but you need ethical hackers for your online security. When the Metropolitan Police was established back in 1829, Robert Peel, who was the Home Secretary of the time, wanted to ensure that the service was under the clear control of local people in order to assuage public concern that it would be used by the government of the day to suppress legitimate protest. The technology has evolved really quickly and the situation we seem to find ourselves in now is that the people that, that kept up with that are the people that are being punished and the people doing the punishing are the people that, that didn't actually keep up with the changes that were happening. When worldwide there are less than 10 companies dominating the biggest industry that the world has ever known, which has brought us the new industrial revolution, I think there is cause for concern. Quite probably the role of the internet, of digital technology, in bringing down crime itself. In so far as InnoTech has any relationship, any role, in helping to accelerate that process. I champion it, I applaud it. Welcome, thank you all so much for being here. It goes like this, I mean, there is no patch for ignorance. <laughs> Welcome, you Welcome you to How many of you had heard that before? It is an equality problem. And protest, and legitimate protest. <laughs> hey, wait up. Way to school me. I just showed you how to increase font size, so don't forget the uh, don't forget the old school hacker here. Viva Innotech, folks! Have a and, and forward with your forward with all your deliberations. Will that do, Jennifer? Can I go now? Thank you very much.